What's up, y'all? It's Friday. I don't know about this camera direction. I kind of like it. It's kind of tilted, kind of linked, linked over. What's going on, y'all? It's Friday. We all got jobs and we all got shit to do. Ain't no telling when this damn video will be posted because lately it's been taking me all day to post a damn video. All the live long day. What is going on? I have not been really in the news. Only thing that everybody is really talking about, we still talking about pregnancy termination. That's what we still talking about. Like, we still talking about it. This idea, like Alabama, now it's Missouri. They really going, they really going hard. At the end of this video, I'm going to play a clip of Jane Ellie, you know, the white lady that likes to ask white people to stand up if you would trade places with a black person at any time and nobody ever stands up. <laughs> but y'all don't y'all don't know what racism is, right? Y'all don't get that. Y'all don't there's no racism, but you wouldn't change places with a black person. I'm going to play it at the end of this video so you, you can see what she said three years ago about the depossession of the United States and the fact that, you know, white, white people in the United States will be a minority in like 20 years. And because of the low birth, the low birth uh, rate um, and white women are not having babies. They're not having babies. So what they're telling y'all is white women, since you since you hoes is not having babies, since you can't be the objects of what we need you to do in order to uphold and uplift and embolden white ideologies, we're going to tell you you cannot have abortions anymore. We see y'all bitches is not having babies. So what are y'all doing? Y'all having abortions? Okay, well, we're not going to allow you to have abortions. Right now, there is an 11-year-old who is pregnant and unable to have an abortion from an incestual molestation rape situation. So she can't have an abortion now. An 11-year-old little girl. Who died, whose brain hasn't even finished developing, whose body hasn't even finished developing, has been violated by a family member and, and has, has, that has produced a pregnancy and she cannot. And you're not gonna tell me that W-H-I-T-E-M-E-N aren't crazy? This is terrorism, terrorism, do you hear me? It's not funny at all. Everything is going on down south. And then in the case of, like, you know, some abortion laws, first of all, there shouldn't even be an, a, any, any laws on governing a woman's body. There should be no laws regarding someone's body. But they're saying in case of rape and incest, you, you know, some laws are saying, yeah, you know, abortion after this amount is legal unless it's rape, incest, or at the the health of the mother. Well, I, 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 to me, I feel like the health of a mother is at risk if she's 11 years old. She can't. Her hips aren't even wide enough to 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 re release a baby from her vaginal canal. Come on, like what the fuck is wrong with you, motherfuckers? Like that shit is crazy to me. That shit is absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Alabama, Georgia, who else? Missouri, who else? They just letting you letting you people know we're not going down without a fight. And you know why? Because they're afraid that if the tides change, what happened to us can possibly happen to them. And because if they had a chance to do it over again, not that it's already not a self-sustaining functional system that really doesn't need them to do anything. But because they know that if we had the chance to do this again, we would really enslave some niggas again. We would really do it. So they're afraid that if the tides if the tides change, that could possibly happen to them. Something could happen to them that will mimic what's happening to black people and other people of color in the United States. It's crazy. People are crazy to me. I keep telling y'all this shit is psychotic. It's crazy. Yesterday I was just looking at the news and I'm looking like this country is crazy. And, the, and, and what's really sick about this country is that it really postures as if it maintains this moral superiority over other countries. Uh-uh. As I told somebody, the God that they keep trying to say 
that oh this is a God thing and you know where this is life and we care about life and no the same God that they enslaved my people with they don't even believe in ain't that a bitch you heard what I said the same God they used to enslave us they don't even believe in yeah crazy crazy um, what's going on? Aisha Curry said that she had a botched boob job during her postpartum depression. So she's kind of talking, you know, this is, here's the thing about us talking about our vulnerabilities and things that, you know, where we feel insecure and in sharing those things. A lot of the time, a lot of, a lot of what we've been taught as a people is to not share things that we're shameful about. And then that shame turns into pain and resentment and unhealed parts of ourselves and really can create a low self-esteem, um, you know, a lot of self-doubt. When you, when you are raised or, or, or cultivated in a society or in a community where you got to be ashamed for the things that aren't, that don't look nice on the outside. You create a, a, a broke a broken person and I think what what is what's really odd about it's like um, a double-edged sword almost where you're telling somebody you know let's talk about our feelings let's share so other people won't feel alone because a lot of the times I used to say back in the day with faith where are you going so fast like I don't get it I don't understand where you going. Um, I used to say back in the day that I, I, I bet there's a lot of people on social media who feel alone because all they see all day is people sharing their triumphs and their happy moments. No one's sharing when they're sad. I mean, this is back in the day. I think a lot of people now are sharing things, but then you get the people who tell people stop over sharing on the internet. Who are you to tell anyone how to cope who are you to tell anyone how to express themselves or not express themselves we can't we can't we can't try to encourage a community where we share about our mental health we share about the things that we should have been, we should have otherwise been taught to be ashamed about you know um we turn around and we tell those same people, oh, you're oversharing. Stop sharing all your business on the internet. Well, that for some people, I know for me, I Twitter is my like, I can go to Twitter and have a full goddamn meltdown. And when I'm done tweeting, I'll, I'll be like, okay, I tweeted right on through that. It's like some people need to let out whatever it is they're feeling about a situation and you can't shame them for doing so and then next week encourage uh, encourage people to talk about mental health or to talk about how they're feeling or to talk about anything that they possibly felt ashamed about i remember on um on facebook i talked about my experience with my children's father i and i spoke about that and i was ashamed to talk about that but i spoke about that in addition to talking about the things that were going on with my family and my relationships with my mother and father and talking about all those things and for me it was cathartic and it helped me and it encouraged other women who came in my inbox and were like thank you you know I feel I feel like I want to share my story I don't feel ashamed um you know we got to talk about the things that bother us or that are bothering us. And if it's for the sake of our mental health and to help us feel better, why not? It might look ugly. Like, I think it makes people uncomfortable to hear or to see in their timeline of positivity and fucking Zig Ziglar quotes that everything is fine. And then you see somebody talking about something that everything is not fine in this little bubble that you've created called in the your social media you know what i mean you see somebody like sharing something like what wait a minute this is something bad 
oh now you're sharing too much what because it made you uncomfortable we're so used to seeing all these people's you like i said successes and happy times and stuff like that whenever you see anything outside of that it makes you uncomfortable and now you want to stifle people and make them be quiet that's not cool Y'all are not going to inconvenience me this morning. Where are you going, honey? With your black ass window. You're going to get pulled over. Pulled over. So how's the week been going for everybody? You been, Everybody been having a good week? That's good. That's good. Good. I've been having a weird week. A weird week. Like I said on, what was that, Wednesday? I don't have anything to talk about today. I have been watching Game of Thrones. I, I last night, I have scrap. I've been watching Game of Thrones. I'm on, um, I'm on, in, on, on episode six. I said it's gonna take me two years to watch. I figure if I watch an episode a day or at least two episodes a day, I'll be, I'll be cool. Cause for it's gonna take me forever. That shit came out in 2007. What was it? 2000? What or 2011? What what year did um, Game of Thrones come out? But anyway. So far, so good. The violence, <sighs> cutting off the horses' heads and shit. I'm like, okay, niggas getting they throat. I mean, just, it's very violent. It's very violent. It's like, okay, okay. It's very violent. Um, the main dude, um, I, I, okay, I don't know the people. I don't understand how y'all, when, how long did it take y'all to learn these motherfuckers' names? Like, ooh, these names are crazy. Uh, but the main dude that is friends with the king, the king's hand, I don't even know what the fuck his name is. Okay, y'all, I'm sure somebody will tell me. He reminds me of, is it is it Keith Urban? I don't know who he reminds me of, but he looks like a country singer. Who is that man? And so far, so good. I was like, okay, this is good. It's getting interesting. The dynamics of the relationship between the queen and the king like they're not really does he know that she she's fucking her brother jamie is that his name why he got a regular name what's his name what's his name <laughs> why he got a regular name jamie what's his name jane what's his name? i don't know i don't know i was like how did the how do you motherfuckers know their names so quickly somebody in the comments said put on the closed captions but i'm watching a stream of it so you have to like download the captions and i tried to and i was like oh this is helpful um when i wonder when they're gonna put game of thrones on netflix or is it on hulu what streaming service is it on because i'm watching it on my fire stick fire tv so i'm like um I can't really do the uh, can't really do the uh, closed captions because um, you have to like kind of download them first, and then like if you don't get all of them, it stops the stream at wherever you know wherever the closed captions stop. So I tried it because I was like, oh, this is really helpful because I don't know what the fuck they. I'm list. I'm trying to listen to them. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? But um, yeah, I think what's really weird about it is that it's like. I guess you forget that it's fake, like mythological. No, 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 no white man in a white pickup truck. You will not get in front of me. Sorry, not today. I'm on my black shit today. <laughs> not today, sir. In your Dodge Ram, whatever the fuck it's called. You in a lane that merge and you're going to be, you're going to be sit, sit on the side of me. I'm not letting you get over crazy as hell. Anyways, what else is going on? Um, yeah, Aisha Curry, she's sharing that she had a botched boo job um, during her postpartum depression. Postpartum depression is real. Um, I, I, I'll be happy when people start understanding each other and start really like seeking to understand what people are going through. Like really, really give a fuck about what people are going through. I think it will, I think it will create some kind of sensitivity to other people you know um i think we dehumanize celebrities a lot and we expect them to behave differently than us and when they act the same or express the same kind of insecurities that we have as regular you know people who are not considered you know in the limelight or um sub celebrated or entertainers or whatever um you tend to think that you're different from them kind of you, you 
but you're not we're not nobody we're all the same um you know it the difference is you just have access and reach but the the problems are are not are not different the problems are not different and they're not so when people are having insecurities and expressing insecurities you believe that because you have so much money and you're you're married to a, a superstar basketball player and a millionaire that you don't have those insecurities that these regular bitches have you know what i mean and that's that, and that's just that's unrealistic and it's not fair to the other human being who okay i am a millionaire okay my husband is a, a basketball player okay i come from this kind of you know upper class family but i still feel bad i can still get postpartum depression i could still feel un un unwanted or i could still crave attention you know and people are really I think it's really that men are really uncomfortable with the fact that oh my penis and this ring is not enough she still wants attention from me like do you believe that after you get married to a woman that that's all okay well this is all you wanted why because she practically probably beat you over the head to marry her so now you figure okay I gave her a ring I'm giving her this money in this house. You should be satisfied with everything. You should not have any insecurities. You should be okay with me being a superstar. You should be okay with nobody looking at you. You should be happy. You should be satisfied. That, that where? It's not cool. It's not cool to believe that, oh, just because she has all these things, that she doesn't have these insecurities. She is a human being. That is a human being. And we need to be more... not forgiving but more encouraging of you know it's okay that you feel this way validating validating that's what I mean not encouraging validating we should be more validating to people and how they feel about a certain thing and stop dismissing people like oh you can't you can't possibly feel like that your fucking husband is a superstar you know that's not fair that's not cool just to say it's, she's a she's a human being she's a human being and the money doesn't change people you know I mean, it changes people, but it doesn't change. You know what I mean? The basic fucking components of who we are, that doesn't change. It doesn't. People could create some kind of false sense of who they are because of the money that they have, but eventually the shit will come out. Your, reg your regular human shit will come out. Y'all are not driving the way that I would like for you to drive. What else is going on, y'all? So, um, I really, oh, Tati and, um, James Charles, child. So, y'all wanted me to talk about that. I really don't follow him, motherfuckers. I did follow James Charles. I'm not, don't follow him, but, like, follow his story. Um, but he always just seemed very inauthentic to me, but I did, I thought it was very cool of CoverGirl to make him a CoverGirl, but I knew that there were people out there that probably were more talented than he, you know. But apparently he is a predator and he likes to prey on people and um, make people question or feel feel like their sexuality is being questioned or he's, do, he's doing a lot of bullshit and Tati, uh, what's her last name? Westbrook, Tatiana. She's another um, fucking YouTube personality. And this is on the, on the, in the carrot slaw aisle of YouTube. And um, she exposed him, but she only exposed him when it fucked with her money. So it was kind of fake, but you know, she should have exposed him a long time ago. Maybe she, you know, she did say that she did have private conversations with him about his behavior. Um, and I think that's fair as a friend, you kind of, you do want to like, dude, what you're doing is fucked up. Okay. Well now you fucking with me. So now I'm going to have to expose your ass. You know what I mean? So that's like what really what happened. Um, he lost, he got like 16 million sub subscribers and he was losing subscribers. Boom. Every, it was like 200 every minute, 200 every minute, 200 people, his subscriber count going down, down, down. But he still has, he still has a lot of subscribers. He's still going to be making money. He's still a millionaire at 19 years old. Um, he's just you know he's one of those people that the money exposed exactly who he was you know what I'm saying like eventually it comes out you can act a certain way and you know
now you have access and you have this woman helping you and now he turns around and kind of fucks her over but that's who he was from the beginning and and I can't believe that she didn't see those parts of him like he was manipulating her and using her um, and I guess she thought because you know I have all this money that this can't happen to me but now he's fucking with my money she's selling some kind of fake ass hair vitamins some bullshit she's selling and he's selling some shit too and I guess it that he's aligning with some competitor and she doesn't like it so she was fucking with him until he was fucking with her money and once he starts fuck, that's one that, that's what I be trying to tell people like oh they support each other more than black people support no they don't they do not as soon as the hammer falls honey you they throwing the motherfucker over the damn overpass as soon as the hammer falls if you start messing with them money everybody's going down I'm, I'm telling everybody she was private with her her critique of him and what he was doing um with his celebrity and she told you know she told him but now you're exposing him and you're only exposing him because he fucked with your coin you trash too. Like she her ass is trash too. You trash as hell. You trash as hell. Anybody if you if you witness and she talking about all the all the times that she had to apologize for him. I watched her video. I watched his old video too. Him sitting up there crying and acting like he can't talk and shit. Y'all please. But honey, but that's a that's a YouTube beef that honey. That subscriber count was going bloop, bloop, going down, going down, going down, going down. And what's really crazy is that people are like, well, now that James Charles is out the picture, he's really not. But now that James Charles is out the picture, here, look at this other YouTube content content creator that does makeup. And who and like y'all should have been looking at these other people before. You only could have one at a time. Like, whatever. Anyways, so I mean that's that, that whole shit was crazy, but there's nothing gonna happen. He's still gonna make money. She's still gonna make money. They just fighting, and that's what they do. What else is going on? Um, I don't know what else is going on. Yeah, the abortion thing. That shit is crazy to me. And it's like everybody's saying the same thing. I still see in my timeline the same shit, the same shit, the same. Everybody's saying the same thing. This one woman posted, I don't, I don't, she said, until I get kicked off of Twitter, I'm going to keep saying it, that W-H-I-T-E-M-E-N are a detriment to society. How are you, and then, you know, stop saying that, you know, it was 25 white men who signed, no, it was a, the woman drafted the bill, a woman drafted the bill, a woman is at the helm of all of this, and it's like, how could she do this? No, she has to uphold white supremacy before she upholds her gender. What are you talking about? Her her reproductive rights? She no. No, they demonstrate and they tell you all the time. We gon' are we white first. Period. It don't matter. And whatever I need to do to maintain possession of the United States in that manner, I'm going to do everything to uphold that. A woman is at the helm of the abortion bill, okay? So, don't let the smooth taste fool you, okay? That's why I'd be like, oh, nah, that, nah. It's no traffico. No traffic. Um, so, this week, I've just been doing a lot of um, studying my natal chart. Um, reading up on codependent and narcissist relationships. Um, reading up on that. Reading up on um, codependence um, being produced from a narcissistic family. Broke it down, honey. I was like, ooh, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. So I'm trying to work on healing myself. Yes, the wounded healer. I'm trying to work on that so that I can be and step into my purpose you understand what I'm saying and so I gotta heal first right so that's what I'm working that's what I've been working on and and you know asking for clarity and revelations have been things have been revealed to me but at the same time like on Monday I had unexpected you know an unexpected surprise and um that was really good and and it's so funny because I, I I really liked I really have created this channel because I wanted to share but then I found
found out like my mom and my dad and my son's father they watch my channel to make sure I, I, I guess to see if I'm gonna talk about them or not on any given I, I mean I, I don't know and I, I assume that one of the that thumbs down is coming from somebody who is afraid that I am going to talk about the role that they had in my life I, I have a video if you do not want everybody has their story and you got to be mindful of the role that you play in people's lives because when they retell the story they're gonna share the role the role that you played in their life so you be mindful of that and don't get mad when people tell their story you should have played a different role you should have played a different role you had an opportunity to play a different role so you can't tell people not to tell their story you can't do that because you're afraid of how you look you're afraid of your your false sense of self is going to be shattered and when so when people start talking about the role that you played in their lives man so I, it, it's really hard. It's difficult for me. It's hard for me to kind of really share, share. Um, and I, I'm really pissed off about that. I really wish that they would have not told me or led me to led me any kind of um, idea that they were watching my videos because, you know, I, I'm not I'm not gonna not share my story. But I don't feel like sharing my shit and then getting an email or somebody leaving a comment trying to negate my fucking story you know what i mean like i i just it's just it's just a ugh. but anyways i've been doing research on codependency narcissistic and how codependents um um turn into um you know create these relationships in their lives with people who are narcissistic addicted things like that and um, I was watching something this morning on the narcissistic family and how the parents operate um, within that kind of dynamic. And I'll 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 um, I'll put the link. And it was very it resonated with me um, so much. I was like, oh okay, like you know the parent who talks shit about the other kid to the other kid and you wonder why you and your siblings aren't as close as you should be because you have a parent that's going between each child talking shit about each child and kind of keeping you kind of keeping shit stirred up so to speak um and then the covert narcissistic parent where you know um, behind closed doors, they're a terrorist. But in everybody, in everybody's face, they're the most wonderful person. They do everything for their child. Their child is the golden child. There, but it's a, you're the golden child as long as you're aligning with how their false sense of self. Until you break that, until you break or crack anything that they feel about themselves, then they have a problem with you. It's good. It's a good video. I'm a, it's very short. It's a short video. I think it's like nine minutes. I'll post it in thing. But anyways, y'all, that's my time. Uh, we really didn't talk too much about nothing. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Grow something. Relax this weekend. Um, learn something about yourself this weekend. Just relax and, you know, do your thing. I can't wait till this Ava DuVernay film about the, um, the Central Park Five come out. We're going to talk about that. Something else I wanted to talk about, too. Um, another series. I said, oh, Black Mirror is coming out. we definitely talking about Black Mirror. That comes out June 5th. Um, and something else I wanted to talk about. So it's Central Park Five, Black Mirror... And Miss Pat, I'm 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 gonna have to I'm gonna have to get a Hulu. Somebody gonna have to give me their Hulu password, cause me and Nate used to I, I, I used to share Nate's Hulu. Nate, where's our Hulu password? Do we still have Hulu? <laughs> Do we still have Hulu? <laughs> but yeah, so cause when Miss Pat Miss Pat, I love Miss. When I tell y'all I love Miss Pat, go watch her um the Breakfast Club interview. She was on the Breakfast Club. She had Envy and Charlemagne cracking up. Because she just don't give a damn. She says what the fuck she wants to say. I love me. I, well, I tell you, I love Miss Pat. When I first saw Miss Pat, I was like, this lady is really funny. Then I heard her story. And her book, I think it's called Rabbit. Her book is sitting in my in my cart on, on Amazon. In my save for later section. 
because I really want her book. She has a very interesting story, and it's. But I love Miss Pat. She's she's going to have a sit a sitcom, I guess, or a show on Hulu. And they said they're gonna let her do what she does. And she has a great writer who linked up with. I think it's through Lee Daniels. It's gonna be. I'm excited to see it, and I really hope um, that they allow the essence of who she is comes through because she's very raw. She's very. If you are, if you some bougie ass black person, you ain't gonna like Miss Pat because she is. She, if, if y'all know anything, early Monique, you know, Monique's mouth was very like, run, like, I love Monique, honey. I loved her. Oh, Monique said some shit about women should let women should let their husbands have side chicks because you don't let Sydney the pimp, the pimp, the pimp, pimp daddy. <laughs> You don't let Sydney have a bunch of women on the side to make you feel better. So everybody else needs to do that. Honey, unless that's the, the agreement that you have, people ain't doing that. Ain't nobody doing that. We don't even live in a society like that, honey. People can't even do poly relationships correctly because they're so used to being lying and deceiving people and not being transparent. Honey, what you think? Honey, please. You should let your husband have a side chick. Girl, shut the fuck up. But anyways, her raunchy ass. I used to love Monique because she was raunchy. She just said what the fuck she wants to say. And Miss Pat is worse than that. If you don't know, go go look up Miss Pat. She really, her, ooh, her, she's real bad. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. And he says, and these are his words, not mine. Unfortunately, we would have to pay women of all colors to have babies, so we don't want to do that. He says the second thing we could do is change our the number number of legal immigrants who are allowed into this country every year. Then he says, unfortunately, the majority of those wanting to come to this people today are people of color, so we don't want to do that. And this is the most scary one. He says the third thing we could do is remember that 60% of all the fetuses that are aborted every year are white. If we could keep that 60% alive, that would solve our birth dearth. Now, if you don't understand the right to life movement, and if you think it's all about morality or religion, you're wrong. It's about attempting to control white women and keep them busy having babies so that they can help us to maintain our numerical majority in the United States of America.